In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to effectively read and use VFR charts. There are two types of charts. The one on the left, which is a sectional aeronautical chart, and the one on the right, which is a VFR terminal area chart. Anytime there's a class Bravo airspace that's within the boundaries of the sectional chart, there will be a corresponding terminal area VFR chart. So what's the difference? The sectional chart is on a 1 to 500,000 scale, whereas the terminal area chart is on a 1 to 250,000 scale. So the terminal area chart will give you more resolution of finer features. You'll be able to see more detail, like roads and rivers, that might not be drawn on the sectional chart. In addition, the very first and most important thing to look at for any chart is the expiration date, because both the sectional and terminal chart will expire after every 56 days. And we can see when the charts expire up here on the top right corner. This one is effective to February 10th, 2011, and so is the terminal chart. So let's open up the Washington sectional and see what's contained inside. Here we can see the Washington sectional. Over on the left hand column of the first panel, we have at the very top control tower frequencies. Below that we have frequencies and information for class B, class C, and the terminal service radar area control frequencies. Along the span of the bottom we have information for special use airspace and towards the right we have information itemized in boxes. Turning over the chart, we can see the reverse side. We've got the legend on the top left. We've got the Washington, D.C. area in the center of the map. You will see a white box which surrounds the Class B airspace. And everything inside this white box is what is drawn on the terminal area chart. Now let's open up and take a look at the VFR terminal area chart, which will show a higher resolution map of the area within the box of the sectional chart around the class Bravo airspace. Now you can really see that white ring that represents the SFRA or special flight rules area around the Washington DC area and the inner ring which is the DC freeze. We've also got P40 up on the top over here which represents Camp David which is a restricted flight area as well. You'll notice that you don't see the restricted areas listed on the bottom of the chart. However, we do see some of that information on the side pane on the left. And similarly, we have the legend up on the top left as well. And that legend is exactly the same as in the sectional chart. If we look at the reverse side of the VFR area chart, what we'll notice immediately is that the colors are gone. What does remain, however, and what's of primary importance in this chart, is that it very clearly shows you the different layers of the Class Bravo airspace, where the layers start and where the layers end. This is particularly helpful to the VFR pilot to prevent them from inadvertently flying into the Class Bravo airspace. Now I'm going to show you a great little website where you can go and get these VFR terminal sectional area charts for free and you don't even have to download them. It's www.skyvector.com and once it loads you'll see that it goes immediately to the chart in your area based on your IP address. We've got all these little push pins. These push pins are for weather reporting stations. And if you highlight if you just hover your mouse over it, it'll show you the current METARs. We can turn that off by clicking the show weather button. That'll declutter the screen. And you'll see all the stuff is exactly the same as the actual physical chart. If we zoom into the front cover here, we'll see that it even has the date to which this is effective, which is the 10th of February 2011. That's exactly the same expiration date as the physical chart that I had in my hand earlier in the video. We've got the legend up top. We've got the front cover. Here we have information on control tower frequencies. If we go down a little bit below that, we have information on class B, class C, and the terminal radar service area. And here we've got the frequencies and then the services available. Down below that, we've got special use airspace. If we slide on over the bottom, we've got the information boxes. Here it talks about VFR waypoints. So 
everything that you want you've got right here on your fingertips. We can see that this white box around the class Bravo airspace outlines or defines the region in which the terminal area chart will be uh, depicted. So if we zoom in here we can now see that this little Baltimore Washington terminal area chart button appears. So before I click it, let's take a quick look. Here's Reagan National Airport. You can kind of see some of the features in downtown Washington, but now let's click the terminal area chart. And here you can see very clearly the resolution is so much greater on the terminal area chart. You can see prominent landmark features like the Washington Monument, the Capitol Building. Here you've got two stadiums. We've got the College Park Airport. We've got this uh, temple over here. We've got the Pentagon, I believe it is right there. So much better resolution. We can see roads much more clearly. We can see finer details in lakes and rivers. And all of this again is free. If I zoom out a little bit, we can get a bigger picture. You can see just like the sectional chart, we've got the date which it's effective, which is 10th of February 2011. We've got the Class B information down here on this bottom pane. And if we go up to the top, we've got the legend information. So again, all of this is the same. And let's say I want to look at a terminal chart for a different area. If I go up to the top here, to the charts uh, icon, a map of the United States will appear. And I can click on any one of these different boxed areas to see a terminal area chart for every class Bravo airspace in the entire United States. Let's switch back over quickly to the Washington sectional. If I go to the charts, I can now see the sectional chart for any part of the United States. And these are, as far as I'm aware, they've always been up to date. They're, they're very good and consistent about keeping these charts up to date on this website. It's all free. You don't have to sign in, make an account, uh, give any information uh, or email addresses. Just go straight to the website and you can get this information at your fingertips. So I hope this uh, helps you in having a nice tool to learn how to read these charts.